Well, hi! Welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing a remodel of a base game house. Instead of doing, like, a base game house from scratch, um, I don't know. I figured I would just kind of give it a shot. And this house already had really good bones. It had a really good layout. Um, so I'm kind of just going through and, I don't know, like, adding some more, like, modern <laughs> details. I mean, okay, the house was built ten years ago. Um, in 2014, 2013, when, you know, the game was new, so we have some new updated things, um, uh, so, you know, it's, I, I don't know, I, I thought it would be kind of fun, and I, I know that I was kind of unhappy with, <laughs> kind of unhappy, that's an understatement, I was not happy with my, my last base game build, Just, I mean, it was a beautiful house, it was fine, but, I don't know, I was like, I can do better than this. I don't know, I feel like I... A lot of the walls were blank, and in my head I was like, that's... No, 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 it's fine. Walls can be blank. There's blank walls in my house. <sighs> I don't know, my, my brain is weird sometimes, but um... It, it was a fine house, I just was like, I can do better. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying it again. So a, se a second chance, you know? Um, <laughs> but... I don't know, I, I like how this house turned out. It's, uh, as you can see, uh, it's orange. There was orange trim. So I was like, well, I guess this house is entirely orange now. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it does remind me of the Fallout 4 houses, which were actually based on Lustron houses, which were real houses that were built in like the 40s and 50s. Um, they're really, uh, a really interesting story about the Lustron homes, actually. Um, I bought a book on them. I was doing a lot of research into them. I fell into like a deep hole of like affordable housing and all that fun stuff, <laughs> you know, that won't exist ever again. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, when, when people used to buy a house for like a single grape seed. <laughs> so, uh, but, I don't know, it was just, this house reminds me of that, kind of, the mid-century vibes, the, the, like, asymmetrical roof. Um, but, I don't know, I just kind of want to go through and update it a little bit, because 2014, that's, it was 10 years ago. I was, what, starting high school when this game came out? Not to make everyone feel old that's watching this, I'm very sorry. I've been playing since, like, The Sims 2, okay? Like, 2000. Six, I want to say. So I was like six or seven when I started playing The Sims, which is a teen game. Especially that one. I feel like The Sims 2 really was like... That was like the teen Sims game, you know? There were like some animations in that one that were like, oh, we're going there. I mean, yeah, that's... <laughs> I wish it would go back there because I feel like a lot of the audience... This is a weird tangent I'm already going on. Um, I don't know. I feel like The Sims 4 is... The audience has changed, and whether for the better or, or worse, it's just, you know, it's a different audience now than it used to be. So, we've all kind of grown up, and <laughs> I think EA kind of knows that, and I don't know. I am, There's a new death pack that's coming out, which could be interesting. Um, I, I, you know, I wasn't looking forward to it because it looked like... It, there wasn't going to be enough in it to, like, warrant a whole expansion. It looked like it was going to be, like, a, a game pack worth of stuff. But I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm, I'm hoping that I'm wrong, and I'm hoping that there's a lot of good stuff in it. But, I mean, I know that you can host your own funerals. Well, not your own funerals, but, like, you know, you can host funerals in the game. And, um... Hopefully that'll be better than what they did with Weddings, you know, which was completely broken, and I think it still is broken. Um, anyway, I've recorded this voiceover like four times, more than that actually, um, and I feel like every time I record it, I just sound like an idiot, and yeah, it's true, I am I am an idiot, but you know, I don't, I just, I, I don't like to listen back to my voiceovers because... Well, I don't mind my own voice, it's not that, it's just sometimes I just go on rambles and then I don't know what I'm saying and then I'm like, why did I say that? Like, I forget 
a lot of things. So, you know, sometimes these voiceovers are just like not very great for me because I forget what I talk about. Um, anyway, um, yeah, base game homes. I think I might make this like a thing. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more base game stuff because honestly, I, I, I kind of like paring down my game going back to base game. Like, I was talking to one of my friends in the comments, um, Anus. Hey girl, hey, if you're watching. Um, she used to play and stream The Sims, and her content was incredible. And it was exa exactly how I used to play The Sims when I was, like, a kid. And it just brought me back, and it's just her content was incredible. And she's doing, like, stuff in, like, um, not Unreal. Is it Unreal Engine? Oh shoot, I forget what she said it was. She's like animating now, which is crazy. I'm like, I, I love that. It's just The Sims has taken people in such different directions and we're all being so creative on our own. And it's just, I don't know. As much as I can sit here and be like, The Sims is a bad game. I feel like it's, you know, I've made a lot of good friends. I've, this sounds like a eulogy. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe it is. Uh, the Sims kind of is dying, right? This is, The Sims 4 is it. Um, I don't know. I think I, I said in one of the voiceovers that I did for this that I was like, this is it. I'm not going to buy anything after The Sims 4. Like, Project Renee? No, thank you. Anything with, like, Sims stories? No, thank you. Um, this is it, you know, for The Sims. So, and I, I do like The Sims 4. I think it has the best build mode out of all The Sims games. Um, I like the aesthetic a lot. Uh, Although I do sometimes go back and build in The Sims 2 and 3, just, you know, it's fun. I may maybe I'll do like a tour video or something of some houses and things I've built in The Sims 2 and 3. Um, but I don't know, it's just... <sighs> this game is good-ish. It's just, it's it has issues, you know? And I think it's not like a secret that it has issues. Everyone knows it has issues. I mean, I, I guess EA is going to put together, like, a task force or whatever to... That sounds aggressive. A task force. I don't know what they're calling it, but they're putting together, like, like, a team to patch the game, like, several times, which is good. You know, they should be doing that. They should have been doing that. Um, so they know it has issues. Um, I think, for me, I use it as just a building simulator. That's all I do is just build. So... When I play the game, is it glitchy? Absolutely. But, I don't know, I don't... To me, the more chaotic a Sims Let's Play is, <laughs> the better it is in my head. Like, Juno Birch, one of my favorite YouTubers, their Let's Plays are incredibly chaotic and just incredible. I don't know how else to put it, they're just incredible. Um, and I aspire to be Juno Birch one day. You know, I love their Let's Plays. They're just, they're hilarious. I don't know. So I don't really mind when a game is hella glitchy because it kind of just makes it more fun. Funner. <laughs> makes it funner. It's not a word. Uh, yeah. No, I don't know. I, I, I like this game. It has its good bits. It has some bad bits. But... I think I've been playing the game for too long. I've been in the franchise playing the games for too long to just kind of give it up, you know? And um, I'm, I'm gonna take what I can from it while it's here, I guess. This sounds like a eulogy. I, this, <laughs> doesn't it? I just, I don't know. I, it's just, I think it's, it's interesting to see that the Sims franchise is kind of, this is, this is it, you know? But, um. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll have fun with it while I can. Uh, but speaking of fun with it while I can, would you guys like to have a base game series where I just go around building base game homes and maybe sprinkle in like a few packs or a few like custom content bits in there? Because I think that would be kind of interesting. You know, like a, like a base game house with like CC. You know, so it's like download this pack, export it into your folder, and then download this game for free and it's like there you go it's an introduction to modding and the sims easy peasy um i like how i'm talking about nothing 
and the house is just being kind of built, and I'm not explaining anything I'm doing. I feel like I, I do this a lot in my builds. I need to focus on what I'm doing. So anyway, um, you can see that I have kind of changed, uh, well, the rooms. Um, <laughs> so the, the little girl's room, I think I finished. Uh, I did the, the two bathrooms, and now I'm working on the living room. And what I thought they had was pretty good. I mean, it's a weird layout with like the doors that all kind of lead over here. So you, you're kind of limited on what you can do. Um, but I think the setup they had was pretty all right. So I just kind of changed the couch, changed the rug, made it a little smaller. Um, I changed the dining room table and added one that we got with like a, like a free patch. And I kept the chairs, just changed the colors. Oh, and I moved the office into like a little a little room right there, just so that there could be like a separation. I don't know, I mean, having a desk in your bedroom is fine, but I was like, well, I don't know. I think I think I could move it out here and take up this little space and have like a little like alcove for it. Uh, this platform is curved and it's kind of glitched out. You can see like the diagonal things on the bottom. So, yeah, eh, it's kind of glitchy, um, but I wanted I wanted a little curve thingy because on the outside there's like there's a curve overhang, like uh, not porch, like a, a a covering. So I wanted to carry that into here, so I did. Um, I'm bad at talking about what I'm doing in my houses. This is why I ramble, and then when I ramble, I feel weird about rambling because I feel like I'm an idiot. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You can see what I'm doing, and it's just, it's there. Um, this was a fun little hallway table, though. I was like, how can I, like, make this a little more detailed? And so there's a shoe rack that came with base game. Um, lots of books, I'm realizing. There's a lot of books in this house. I think th there's not many deco items in base game. And I was gonna say it's like an issue, but I mean, that's the point, right? <laughs> to get you to buy other packs so that you get more decorations in your game. I mean, that's the whole point of why there's not a whole lot in base game. But um, I think you can still do a whole lot with base game. So like I put shelves up. I used to do this a lot when I was, you know, building a long time ago. Uh, I would put shelves in the kitchen and then I would put just like miscellaneous things on them there's not much you can put on them because those shelves have like the tiniest slot so okay objects come in like three different sizes kind of they come in like a quarter tile or excuse me they come in like you know like like how do i exp mm. it, anyway th the shelves have like the smallest slot right and so not a whole lot of objects fit on the smallest slot so it's a bit of a pain to furnish shelves like this, or just shelves in general. There's not really much clutter you can put on them outside of just base game. But um, I don't know, I think it turned out fine. Um, I keep saying um. That's the thing I've noticed in a lot of my speed builds is, or voiceovers I mean, is I just say the word um a lot. It's like a space filler because I my brain is thinking and I don't know what to put. So like when I record like my, my, my Planet Coaster videos, I added out so many ums, it's crazy. Cause I'm just trying to like be like, hey, where else should I go in this park to show off what I've built, you know? And I don't I don't script things. When I was making uh machinimas, I would script out everything. <laughs> and that I feel like when you do a machinima, that's fine, but you need to leave some wiggle room for the sims to just kind of be sims because like they're not always gonna just do what you want you can't have complete control most i mean well you 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 can but it just kind of takes it to like the next level and then it just kind of for me it became less fun you know like if the sims just kind of do what they want and i'll just put like a voiceover or whatever that like that's fine um i used to love doing uh like videos like that in, in this game I don't anymore. I haven't in a long time. Uh, my old computer died. So I lost a lot of stuff. Uh, so I haven't ma made any machinimas since. So maybe I will one day. Maybe not anytime soon. But I, it is something I would like to revisit because it is it is pretty fun. Uh, but this room is interesting. 
So I added bunk beds, and that came with the parenthood update, I believe, a long time ago. Uh, that rug came from the infant update. Um, I don't know. There was a, there's like, I feel like these rooms were nice. They were fine. But we got a lot of updates and things, and I was like, we just got new stuff. Just put the new stuff in there, because it's a little bit nicer than what we had 10 years ago. So, I don't know. It's, I think it's a, it's a wicked nice house. A wicked nice house. Well, there's my New England coming out. Um, <laughs> so, it's wicked nice. I'm like recording this after I woke up, so I'm very sorry. I know, this is very disorganized and very crazy, and I feel like a lot of my voiceovers are like this. It's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I like this house. I wanted to give myself like a, a second chance at building a base game house because I was kind of unhappy, you know? I think I said this before, but yeah, I, I like that house. It just wasn't... I feel like it wasn't as good as it could have been, and maybe I'm just dwelling on it too much, because a lot of people seem to like that house, but I don't know. I think I'm just like a perfectionist, you know, and if it doesn't come out perfect, then I'm like, that's a problem, I gotta, I gotta do it again, or I gotta dwell on it, and I gotta like beat myself up, make sure it's better next time, you know? So I think that's why I started kind of small, and I'm just doing like a remodel. Uh, of a nice house. So, and I do like mid-century modern houses a lot. They're like my favorite kind of house. It reminds me of, like Palm Springs, you know. The 50s weren't a great time. <laughs> so, uh, you know, but the aesthetic is really nice. The 50s homes, you know, you could buy a house for like a peanut and live in it and get everything you wanted. It's a nice, it's, it's a nice hopeful time, you know? It doesn't exist anymore, but it's nice to look back and play dress up with my Sims and put them in like 50s garb and like have them walking around like little neighborhoods and stuff like that. I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just an aesthetic, you know? And there are a ton of like decades challenges. Uh, one of my good friends, for the love of Sims, she, she had a huge Decades Challenge. I'm not sure if she's still doing it. She might be. Um, and I think it's still on her channel. But um, her stuff was really, really good. Yeah, you know what? I'm... I, I wonder if The Sims 4 will ever get, like, a Decades pack. You know how the, the Sims 3 got, like, a Decades stuff pack with, like, 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff? That's what it was called, actually. Um, I wonder if they'll do that for this game. And I wonder what time periods they'll, they'll do. I know that for custom content, you can basically get, like, anything you want in the game now. Like, any object, any decade, you know? So, uh, I don't really know what they would do because there's so much stuff out there. Um, but I'm, I'm sure they would figure it out, you know? We don't have much, like... They could do, like, streamline modern stuff. Like, streamline modern, is that what it's called? Like, it's, like, a special... It looks like modern with an E. Modern. I don't, know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, they could do that kind of stuff, like Art Deco. Oh, they should bring back, uh, what's that neighborhood that came with The Sims 3? It was like a Sims 3 store world. Roaring Heights, they should bring that world back. Oh, we're in screenshots. I'm talking about screenshots. Yeah, I don't know. Bring back Roaring Heights and make it uh, with, you know, a, a, a lot of lots, not just like nine and then like a bunch of really pretty backgrounds. You know, I want to live in a city that feels like a city, not just like a dollhouse in the middle of like a middle school production of our town. You know, like I don't, that's not a fun time. I don't know. So, <laughs> anyway, bring back Roaring Heights. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video and I might make base game houses like a series because I do have a lot of fun with these. It's fun to go back and look at old houses and remake them. So, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. It'll be tomorrow. Okay, bye!